Welcome. Tim here. I'm going to do my uh, training for Dr. Chavot's class on uh, Edmodo. Uh, in this lesson, I'm going to cover uh, how I use Edmodo in my daily, uh, daily curriculum. I'm going to show you how to upload an item to a library. I'm going to assign that item that I uploaded to my student groups. I'm also going to create an iSmart group and show you how to create groups while doing so. And then I'm going to make a post to that group. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to go to Edmodo. I'm going to sign in. All right, here's my Edmodo page. <clears throat> Uh, it's me, I'm the teacher, I, so you can see it a little bit better. My little image is a spider that I caught at my school one day. Uh, his thorax and abdomen were about an inch and a half long. His leg span was three inches. It was a giant wolf spider. All right. So I've got my groups here along the side. I've got, uh, this is a group that I have for my uh all the science teachers in my districts belong to this group. And then I've got my two classes right here. I'm going to go up to my library. That's the toggle up here. Click on it. And I'm going to add to my library. I'll click on upload. And I'm going to pick this item. And then add. It is now loading up. Okay. Here's the item. <clears throat> it's just a little cartoon. Kind of a little funny, I found. And I'm going to now add this item to my folders. Since this, uh, where we're at right now, this is my library. This is my personal one, and now I want to assign it to my students. So I'm going to assign it to Force in Motion. Apply. And then we're done. It's really that easy to uh, upload to a folder. So now if I go back home, or I can go here to my folders, and I have my Force of Motion folder here. It's right inside there. Inside my folders, folders are uh, available to my, my students. So what I do with these folders is I have, here's our note-taking worksheet that we did for the class. I have my PowerPoint that we used in the class. And I put post them in here so students say lose uh, their uh, their note taking worksheet. They can go in and reprint their own. Then they go back and watch the PowerPoint again and fill it in. And then I've got another PowerPoint here that just went through different types of motion. <clears throat> and this way, this allows the students to have everything when they're outside of class. So there's I have really cut down on the Mr. Scott going to have another copy of the sheet. Okay, so now I'm going to go back home, and now I want to create a new group. So this would be the same, you would do this the same way as if you were making a group for your classes. So I'm going to click on here, I'm going to create, name your group. That's smart. Select a grade. Higher education. Subject. I'm going to create this one as a professional development. And I'm just going to say it's Edmodo training. And now create. Expect size of the group. I'll say 2125. Let's up it because professors can join it. Describe your group. So 
the collaborative. of teachers learning Edmodo and finish all right now everybody look and listen right here this code 9QH 9KH that's your group code to join this page so now all of us can sit here who's watching this video can join it and we can all collaborate on on here together now I'm gonna add our first post I found a cool video so I'll go here copy this is its video that I'm posting is called what's the most dangerous place on earth it's by a guy called Vsauce on there don't know if anybody any of you have ever seen it or watched him before but if not enjoy and I made a little mistake there and now down here once you post something it automatically populates as iSmart I could also add add it to my pre AP class I could add it to the parents group no one's talked about this yet but parents can join Edmodo as well parents can't do anything just look they can see everything that their kids are doing and then I could if I want to I could add to all of those but I don't I just want to share it just with iSmart And I'm going to post it. And there it is. Hope this helped any, everybody. Now what you can do with uh, Edmodo. How to upload an object item to there. How to create a group. And how to post in to that group. If you have any questions, please just post them to our group page. And maybe all of us can help each other out and learn this awesome program on our own. Thank you all. Have a good day.